Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, need we're good. I need some WD-40. We're, we're good. Oh, What's going on? Break. We should be fine. What's you going on? Are you sure? Yeah. So we need a hammer. <laughs> I'm confused. What? <laughs> the duct tape and the hammer. It's supposed to move. Hit it with the hammer. If it's not supposed to move, hit it with the duct tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea. It's been a long time, guys. Welcome back to uh, the Gray Topaz, our 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 uh, mecha. Stars Without Number, TTRPG. Welcome to the Spice Must Roll. This is a series of sci-fi tabletops that we do in rotating orders and different cast members every time. So it's been having fun. Um, we took essentially the, the holidays off uh, for the last couple weeks. Uh, so we've caught up. If you've been watching us, you, uh, episode four is now on um, there as well. Uh, it's on, um, YouTube. It's now it's on YouTube. 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 English. Speaking we've got an words, TikTok, right? we've got an abridged version on TikTok too, right? Like, yeah, oh. we do totally. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> um, so what happens? What happens? What happens? <laughs> Uh, so let's let's get started with uh, with introducing the cast. Um, I think I've done every single person first except for did I do Atomic before? I don't think I've done Atomic. Why don't you start? Who are you? What do you do? Sure. Uh, who what do you do when you're not here? And um, uh, who do you play here on the Great Topaz? Who do you do when you're not here? <laughs> well, I like pina coladas oh. and getting hot in the rain. No. <laughs> Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Atomic Zero. Uh, I'm a, a Twitch streamer over at twitch.tv slash Atomic Zero. Basically do uh, variety games. Also part of the leadership team for our TTRPG channel called Shared Experience. Hoping to get my Star Wars show off the ground within the next month or so. Just waiting on the last a couple last minute things. On the Grey Topaz, I play Arthur Grisen, who is a... Uh, Planet logged a uh, man, maybe in his midlife crisis, that decided to join a mercenary company because that's just what you do. Yeah, just what you, do. Just what you Fair do. Enough. You decide what to you travel do. the stars with giant stompy robots. That's just what you do when you when you hit your midlife yeah. crisis. It's basically the plot of the rookie, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's and let's go with um, uh, Cyclone. Who are you? Uh, like, 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 you know, who are you? <sighs> Where can they find you? What, where, where, what do you? What do you? Uh, what kind of content do you create? And um, who do you play here on the Great Hope Pass? So, who I am is a question for the ages, for the wise ones. But uh, what I do—that's <laughs> that's a little easier. Uh, my name's Cyclone Jack. I'm a, I'm a retired 15-year firefighter EMT. Um, I currently stream on twitchtv backslash Cyclone Jack. Um, I stream a lot of Mech Warrior. I stream a lot of GTA RP. Um, I'm a former pro player when it comes to MechWarrior, and a former uh, uh, Overwatch player. Mercy main for the win, by the way. Heroes never die. Um, and uh, I, I do a little bit of voice acting on the side with a couple different projects that are coming to her tuition. Ooh. Ooh, hit the wrong button. We're good. All I was trying to do is increase increase Wolf Wolf Blood because he was a little dark, and I tried to uh, like increase his, uh, his his brightness a little bit, and then it's like, oh no, we're gonna do everything. So I I told you, man, duct tape and hammer were. Cool. <laughs> oh. And seriously, I'm never going to be that bright. Ooh. You know, when he graduated high school, his dad put his arm around him and said, "Son, you're going places, not college, but places." <laughs> Oh, and who do you, who do you play here on the Great Topaz? Um, I play Stephen Rains, the impromptu captain of the Great Topaz. Nice. Or de facto? Yeah, de, de, facto. de facto impromptu. De facto, yeah. yeah. De facto. Uh, that, not by word. choice, yeah. All right. Uh, next, we've got um, Mark, a.k.a. Ko Koeji. Um, yeah. Who are you? What, uh, what, do you, what do you do when you are not uh, on this illustrious program? Um, and um, uh, who do you play here on the, uh, the Great Topaz? Yo, what's up? I play Darian Clays here, uh, who's basically like your budget Han Solo, but not really. I uh, talk my way into things, but can't talk way, my way out, so I punch my way out instead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm not here, I'm on my own Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash mark, or playing Fantasy Star Online 2, or I'm making YouTube content playing Fantasy Star Online 2. Yeah, I play there Fantasy Star. It's just my thing. It's your thing now? 
Hey, Mark, hey, Mark. I think. Mark, I heard you were in Fantasy Star, man. Yeah, I play that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, and last but certainly not least, we have Mr. Wolf's Blood. Who are you? What do you do outside of um, our, our little show here? And who do you play on the Great Hope House? Uh, so who I am is Wolf's Blood 2012. Outside of here, I'm a moderator for the Shared Experience channel, as well as Mr. Cyclone Jack down there. Uh, I also enjoy playing with the uh, floppy fish, as these guys were able to find out as we were getting ready for the program today. Wait. Uh, other, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think it's called no. TOS. Floppy fish. It's the floppy fish. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Now my cat wants it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he used cat. Oh. And on here, I play as uh, Mr. Thomas McConnell, who is basically the uh, ship's mechanic as far as the mechs are concerned, and uh, is someone that doesn't enjoy or even wants to be able to uh, kill anyone, so he has to come up with creative ways of facing situations. Yeeting nuclear Not... reactors, stabbing yeah, people in the ass. Um... <laughs> Using a uh, bridge span as a skateboard. That's rule number four <laughs> that came up during our last one. And I have managed to get a new ship's rule made every time we have played. So I'm going to see what I every, can do today. Every episode is That's a new about, rule. Yeah. Yeah. You're I the got... Florida man of the group. If, <laughs> if, we, if, we, if, we do, if we do any merch for this show, it will just be a list of rules and on, <laughs> on, a, on a, digital, a digital screen. Ships, Great awesome. Hope has ships rules. That's all it's going to be. I mean, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Riveting content. <laughs> all right, that goes with rule number two. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, let's kind of do a quick recap because it's been a while. So that those who are watching us live may not have remembered everything. Uh, but the general gist is the Great Hope As works for an organization called the Tracers, which is this mercenary um, company of companies that kind of gets people jobs and, and such all over the, the, the sector. And um, the Great Hope As was brought together by the, by the um, Wandering Tracers, or by the Tracers who are, um, who get them to do missions together. So they all have their own reasons for being on the ship. And um, recently, their latest mission sent them to uh, a far-off system, um, the system of actual Darien's birth, to investigate, or first off to drop some stuff off, but eventually got, they got wound up in some investigation of this strange group called the FMC. And um, they ended up on an asteroid base with potential members of the FMC to investigate. Turns out it was some sort of trap or trick or ploy um they fought their way out managed to defeat an enemy that was quite literally powerful enough to one shot the their their, their <laughs> them if he had, they managed to hit um and uh, they've managed to make it back to their ship but now they are facing uh the only exit blocked off or not blocked off but is uh, currently being blockaded by a mysterious ship that is standing in the way so we bring it up. You guys are on the ship, or on the bridge, and you're sitting there with, with Stella, and on the other side, there is a ship that is just hanging in space, not moving. Has it made contact yet or no? No. Okay. Have we fully gotten the heavy mech on board yet, or are we still, like, dragging that thing on? You, you got it on board, and that's when Stella okay. called you. That's right. Uh, Captain, maybe we think, uh, see what they want? Uh, maybe hail them. I mean, you're the captain. Uh, Steve leans over the control panel. Uh, okay. Uh, one way or another and kind of hits the, <laughs> the communications are right. Open up a channel to the, uh, the blocking, uh, Okay. Chip. What do you say? Uh, can you move, please? <laughs> you get a call back. Let me 
do the right voice for it. Give us the Diablo Heavy. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what we're talking about. Will you? None of your business. Give us the Diablo Heavy and we'll let you go. Otherwise, we ain't moving. Oh, no, no Diablo aquí. No Diablo aquí. <laughs> Mute comms. Look back at the rest of the uh, the crew. Um, it's none of my business, and they want the mech. Crew out. I mean, are these uh, friends of someone's? I mean, so far, Daddy, and this is kind of your neck of the woods. I wouldn't know who the hell they are, except for uh. The potentiality that, um, they're either with the Far Horizons Corporation, the whatever the fuck the other ones were, and, um, it's the only two people that I would think of that we've encountered recently. Are there any markings on the ship, or do we ever see any weapons or anything, or? Give me a, um, give me a, da, 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 um, pilot, maybe? Give me a no check for this one. I mean, you're looking at it, but you're trying to, like, look at it, and then you're also trying to, like, analyze what you've known in the past. Seven. Seven. Um, I'll say... Oh, I'll say that... Ten. Y ten. Okay. Oh, that's um, blood. Never mind. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming he's doing something similar. Uh, let me look it up real quick. But, um, y you... You can tell that there is a there's a there's a marking you haven't seen before, but you imagine that it has something to do with the FMC, um, because it seems to, based off what you can see, have FMC written on it. It's hard to tell because of it's like partially in shadow, but it is a uh, a fist with a circle around it, and inside that circle are two laurel wreaths around it. So th at the bottom so are some lettering that look like FMC. So they're either Steiners <laughs> or they're Ultramarines. <laughs> either way, we're screwed. <laughs> uh, so with my check, what I want to do is compare what I think I may figure out from their ship versus the one that we are on based on my experience of working on these things in the past. Mm -hmm. Like what kind and of ship what it is? Kind of yeah, what kind it is, what kind of matchup we're looking at. Okay. Can I so, sense with that? Go ahead and yeah, roll, roll as well for uh, a no uh, a no a no check. You still have your thing on, by the way. Oh. That we're just doing we're just doing radio this entire time. Yeah, that's this that's <laughs> yeah, all. I'm just, yep. he's just talking to you hey. right now. That's all he's doing. Um, <laughs> all right. Mine was a ten. Yours was a ten, his is a seven. Okay, so Trying to find the ship real quick. Uh, actually, I already know where, where it is. It's there we go. So you're just trying to figure out like what kind of ship it is, right? What kind of ship it is and whether or not this is a can we fight it, can we run from it? Kind of um, options. Yeah. Preferably yeah. can we run from it. Uh, it is a free merchant. A style of a uh, style of ship. Um, based off what you can see, uh, generally speaking, your ship is about the same speed. It's the same style of ship, same kind of ship as yours. It's a frigate. Um, it um, same speed, similar armor, similar um, AC. It's 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 fairly one to one with your ship. Uh, it's basically a converted um, uh, hauling vessel. Um, However, it doesn't seem to have... Like, you guys have a, a plasma beam, which is just one major gun. They have... Seem to have molt, uh, other lasers. Um, and based off of just observations and using ships, scanners and such, you can tell that they have a sand thrower and a multifocal laser. Which is a... Uh, multifocal laser is just like a laser, and the sand thrower is like a, is like a, um, a flak gun. So... 
Uh, guys, we're, this is like we're it, we're even on these, and we can't run away. We're not fast enough. Uh, could we, uh, uh, Paul? Would we? Would either Wolfblood or myself know? Just how damaged that heavy mech is. Like, could we get it up and running? Even just to get the sh the the weapon up and running. Um, not in any short period of time. You guys nearly okay, destroyed it. Okay. it. You guys like ripped its yeah. head off. You blew its arms off. Like, it will it will cost you a lot of money to repair this thing on your own. Um, okay, I was thinking if we could just get like auxiliary power just to the weapon, be like, mm -hmm. open up the back of it, and be like, hi. Mm -hmm. Lean, lean out and fire with it. <laughs> yeah. I am 100% ready to run down to figure that out right now. <laughs> Crossed my thought process, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, I mean, you guys have a uh, plasma beam. And just to give you guys an example, like, their heaviest weapon is going is a 1d4 damage, AP20. Um, oh. Yours, uh, uh, with a kind of a plus three to, to, to hit, or... Um, Plus hit, you have a 3d6 damage AP 10. So while they can okay. get through armor pretty well, you just melt things. Um, and you have uh, like a plus four to hit. So. I mean, uh, I'm pretty married to that big mechanical trophy we just won. But you know what I mean. We already, I think, we're getting paid for this, right? At least for one of them. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much do we want that thing? I look at the rest of the crew. I'm gonna be Ooh. honest with you. I don't think this mech is worth it. Um, we could easily take them out, but. With Hughes, we need to strike some sort of a deal. First and foremost, if we give them the mech, they either guide us halfway through, so that way we know they're not going to shoot us in the back, or we gun them down now and don't give them a chance to respond. Cap, that thing is going to be a whole lot to, to, to get back up and run it. A, a whole lot. And, uh, we, we we can't outrun those guys. We're we're gonna fight them. I mean, uh, the, the ship isn't damaged. The mechs are damaged, but not the ship. I mean, well, I know that. But do, do you do you really want to fight in space? I've seen what happens when people die in space. That that, that, that ain't pretty. We almost died from giant multi arm elephant monster. We almost died from yeah, and I'm about to almost big die. Guy. We almost had. <laughs> We almost died in a big haunted space sure. station. I mean, <clears throat> is being shot down by a ship much different? Can I give you some? Can I give you some tactical advice? Uh, please, Stella. You are evenly matched, but unlike me, you will die if we get hit. What she said. Meh. Huh. Well, like will, I said, Captain's call. It will, whatever will happen, it will come down to who has the greater skill. What's everybody's pilot level? <laughs> <clears throat> Zero. Zero. Oh, God. I, uh, I, I open back up comms. Fantastic! We'll leave it on the ground for you. Good. I start heading down to the uh, cargo hold. Leave it on the leave it on the docks. Disengage. Stay where you are. We'll send a patrol vessel out. We'll send a shuttle out to uh, inspect it, and then we'll let you go. I am throwing arms. myself e throwing myself immediately into my mech, grabbing that some bitch, and <laughs> yeet okay. right back into the state station. All right, so but, but before I do that, this thing is already in really shit repair. Can I rip 
the BFG off of that thing. Give me a fix roll. Uh, difficulty Absolutely. ten. Absolutely. Uh, oh, can I assist? Yeah, go ahead and roll. If you get if you get a ten, intelligence. You, yeah, it's intelligence. Um, if you he if has you a much it, better one than I do, but yeah. But if you but if you get it, then nope. No. Seven. No. Okay. How about a fourteen? That's good. So, you go down. You take the the claw on your on your your um on your, your construction mech and you just grab, rip it off, throw it into the cargo bay and then start dragging the, uh, the, the, the heavy mech into the, uh, into the, uh, the thing. Make it look like the thing just went. Poof. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as, after they close the comms, you see them, you see a, a, a shuttle disengage from the, from the ship and then slowly move, um, and, um, towards where you are, and stop just like right in front of your ship, to the point where uh, Steve, if you're if Steve and Darian, and uh, I guess Arthur, no, Arthur's down there. Steve and Darian, if you guys are still on the bridge, you see, you can see them just kind of chilling in the in their seats, waiting, and you can even see some movement behind them from their like their their front like windshield, um, with the look like armed men kind of moving about, milling about, uh, coming up and checking on them, and kind of looking back on the back, like full. Full armor, weapons, everything. Hmm. It's hard to tell the numbers, but it's like it's they're, they're that close. Like you can see each other's the color of each other's eyes. That dude's got a blemish on his left ear. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so he should moisturize. Uh, after a few minutes. Um, after a few minutes, you're able to move it back. It's 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 like it's not difficult to move this thing because it's not powered right now. So you move it move it back onto the docks and climb back inside the ship. I assume, right? Okay. Is that all you're doing? Yeah, I just wanted that thing to hell off and then. Okay. Getting back on that that nothing no other shenanigans or anything. Okay. So, do you guys know, are you guys gonna undock? What do you, what are you what's your plan right now? Uh, wait for them to you know do the thing and as soon as I get the hatch closed, I'm on comms. Cap, we can go and take off. Okay, Stella undocks and pushes off to the side because it's a, like it's like a big empty interior chamber is what you're you're looking at right now. So it's it's okay. like it's a fairly large. So she's able to pull off and then kind of move off to the side. And as she does, almost immediately the shuttle flies to where your docking was, docks on the same docking port you were, and then um, everything is quiet. And then, uh, about a minute or so, you get a calm back. Greater Paz. Yes? It looks like you upended your part of the deal. We'll let you go. Fly past. We won't attack. Thank you. And punch you, Chewy. We're out. Okay. <laughs> so, here's what happens. Are they <laughs> you guys get about maybe uh, like 500 meters. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe at 500 meters away from the uh, from the, the the ship, and suddenly your sensors light up like a Christmas tree, as it's targeting, as it starts lining up and starts targeting your your vessel, yeah. and then you hear over the comms. The hell did you do to the to, to the Diablo Heavy? Uh, I believe the terminology is blew it to hell. We want all of the pieces of it. There are pieces missing from it. <clears throat> uh, they're that, scattered uh, on the battlefield. Dar Darian is uh is gonna start walking up to behind Steven to try to take over comms real quick. Starts <laughs> slightly nudging Steven to the side. Yep, I sent him to the side. <sighs> Follow me. Hi, this is Darian Clays. Um, your Diablo Heavy, for the most part, it kind of, uh, you want the full story, or do you, do you have time? 
<laughs> Where is the part missing? We're missing. It's missing its its main weapon. This thing is useless without its main weapon. So, uh, Darian, Darian is gonna. Let's see. Hold on. Wait. Where the hell is it? See if this works. So he's gonna perform and try to uh, try to bluff his way through this real quick. Do it. It's gonna be a seven. I'm gonna assist. Hey, hey, hey. go ahead and try to assist. Easy. All right. Saying he has to get a seven though for the perform plus charisma. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. All right. So. Take a quick look at the interior of that of that space station. Notice how there's shots all over the place. Pieces missing. Upon combat, one of the first things we did is I jammed my MES knife into the into the explosive array of the weapon. Unfortunately, that weapon no longer exists. You hear like a long silence, and then after a little bit. Fine. You're free to go. Never come back to the Kale system again, or we'll kill you. You understand? And that just I'm cuts off run. it. As long as we don't have work, we won't see us. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Stella manages to get past the ship, and you guys start to like move away from the from the uh, uh, from the station. Do you guys know where you guys are going? I'm heading up to the bridge. I'm just right. like, um, nice one, Darian. Occasionally you learn how to speak to people. Lead them to believe what they want to with the evidence that they can see firsthand. I just look at Steve. I don't say anything. I just look at him. <laughs> By the way, that thing's expensive. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, they'll come looking for it. How are we gonna melt that thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, melt it. I can sell it. Uh, so at, the, at this point, uh, I think we need to go back to uh, our planet and then report to what's her face. Can't remember her name offhand. Uh, yep. why am I like Jeremy? You report to Jeremy. Yeah, so we got to report to Jeremy, let us let her know what we found out, and then uh, be on our way. All right. So um, give me um, a... Are you guys just good, just straight going, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Um... Oh no! You don't have to do anything. Uh, so during, go ahead. Uh, during travel time, I'm going to go ahead and start repairing the mechs. Okay. Um. All right. Let me look at the the base mech cost because I was going to take take my half. Um. But this is going to be kind of weird uh, because the base mech costs are. Um, a maintenance cycle for a suit uh, requires spare parts and ammunition costing 500 credits while the one for light mech is cost a thousand so for repairing full all of those 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 mechs will cost um, 4,000 credits of, of, of gear so if you, whoever has those credits needs to mark it off somehow so I'm sorry I can donate a thousand I'm sorry yeah. 2,000 credits 2,000 credits because it's half of them okay so oh, okay Cool. Then uh, you only need to donate five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I put in my I'll, five. I'll give in my five too. No, 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 no. Five hundred in total. Oh, okay. Remember, yeah. I stole twenty five hundred off of the station. Ah, uh, true. Jesus Christ. Oh, just. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's been a pack rat. He's been stealing everything <laughs> he finds. Yeah. He's he's been that rogue in every campaign, just like mine, mine. Oh, wait mine, a minute. Hold on. Mine. Hold on. Hold on. Do we need we a only need a fifth. Yeah. 
We only needed fifteen hundred to uh, repair everything. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, yeah. So we only need five. No. We don't need any. No, we we don't need, we, any. We, we don't need any. Okay. <laughs> Remember, you have to sell that stuff still. But um, well, yeah. I'm assuming but that I what figure. you'll do is you'll sell that those goods and then get repair, replacement parts. You know, so it, essentially it'll be a wash. So you won't get any actual credits from it. Um, okay. Hey, hey, Thomas. Yeah. How hard would it be to replace my gauze cannon with that one? Can't. Damn it. Sorry, but back. you're you're yeah. not big enough. Excuse me. Have you seen me? <laughs> you're, not big, you're not big enough to handle that gun. Um, Again, are, have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you guys managed to make it back um, to the 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 the, the planet. Um, Docking is pretty simple onto the orbital space station. You guys can take either the the shuttles or you can you know land on the actual planet. Because I think last time you guys took a shuttle, you um, or no you you landed on the actual planet, didn't you? So w- where would you guys like to land? On the planet or in the station? Uh. Station? Station? Yeah, whatever. Alright. So, it's pretty easy. I mean, you wouldn't have any... Um, um, it's it's not too too uh, difficult. There's no... You don't really have any problems getting to the station. You you uh, you dock at the station, and uh, I guess you were going to call there, and you were going to call Jeremy, right? Or are you going to wait yeah. to get to the station to call state? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna wait until until we get to the station. Okay. So yeah, once you've docked at the station, you're gonna call Jeremy. Yeah. All right. So you call, and uh, you get a little like like hollow image pops up of her. She goes, Darian, did you uh, complete that task I asked you to do? Yeah, we did, and didn't uh, didn't work out in the most positive way. What can you tell me about the FMC? Well, whatever the hell they were doing on that base involved psychokinetics. They tried recruiting me into something. Psychokinetics? I don't even know what it is. Something psycho. Some floaty nonsense. Oh. Um, Like a giant mammoth creature that started with a V. Can't remember the name of it. Um, Zukdu. Zukdu is what it was. Zukdu, yeah. Zukdu, Zukdu, Zukdu. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, Zukdu is what it was. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's so they were doing some research with that. The entire base was basically overridden. The in, with them, uh, one of them had a Diablo heavy. And, uh, well, we took it out, and, uh, they have it back now. Did, but for did, the most part... Did you say Diablo Heavy? Yeah, they had a Diablo Heavy. It's no longer operational, so... Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. Meet me at this address. I'll send you some address. An address. I need you to meet me in this office. I have someone who wants to talk with you about this. Just a quick debrief, and then I'll get you your money. All right. Just uh, no more guns and pointed on my way, right? No more guns, I promise. You, you, you see her hesitate when you say no more guns. She goes, no more guns, I promise. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I'm going to get shot today. <laughs> right. It's not a good day unless Steve gets shot. <laughs> I think you've been shot every single time. Yes. Like every single, yeah. every single, every single combat you've been shot. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys going to plan on doing? Are you guys going to go straight there? What, what, are you guys going to do anything else? Uh, do we want to try to sell that ginormous part? Do we want to sit on it for a while? I'm there- going to. I'd like to roll connect and mm-hmm. start seeing if I can feel out a uh, network here to see a. If I can go ahead and get all of our parts reimbursed and make sure that we're fully stocked again, mm-hmm. and B, if I can follow what Arthur was saying there and see if I can find a buyer for that rail cannon, or that isn't going to 
hopped onto it for a heavy chassis? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I'm just feeling it out. I'm not saying that I will sell it. Just, you know, if the, maybe I can find a buyer. Possibly. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely find a, a buyer uh, at the, uh, the location. Uh, it's, it's, got, it, it's got a mark. It's got a... Uh, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're just... We're just, we're just Will Thomas McConnell please come to the market? Thomas McConnell, please come to the market. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you're 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 able to find a market pretty easily. There's a market on the station which you know buys and sells things. It's 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 a it's a, a fairly well traveled market uh, since it's since the station kind of functions as as a as a major like offloading and onloading location right. for the planet. And since the planet is itself an industrial hub, there's lots of material coming up and there's a lot of people on the station looking to buy the material pretty quickly if they can. So, uh, you know, there's more merchants here and there. Um, so you're able to sell the material that you stole from the station pretty easily for it to, to reimburse the, the cost of, of maintenance. Basically you're able to sell it, sell the material and, and, or trade the material so that you can, you have another, you know, maintenance cycle of, um, of materials okay. for it. Um, and you have at least one person who's willing to buy the rail cannon for 75,000 credits. That's not bad. For reference, the base heavy cost is um, 1 million. Yeah, but that cannon pristine is only, is only 150. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I go for 90. You can give me a roll. Uh, what would I roll for that? Would that be part of my connect skill or something else? Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Let me see the, the systems. Uh, be trade, would be, wouldn't it? It'd be trade, yeah. Okay. Trade. You get a plus zero in trade. It's not too bad. It'd be trade seven. Just say that. And that'd be based off of charisma? Charisma. Or yeah. intelligence. Charisma? Okay. Charisma. Oh. Nope. 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 You can't get more than 75. So I'm just going to report back to Steve and everybody else. Uh, guys, uh, your mechs are... are uh, are, are all fixed. Um, so on your sheets, make sure that you replace all your hit points. And uh, so I, I found a guy. Uh, he'll give us 75 for, for the gun. Um, that's actually an incredible deal. Uh, is he willing to wait until after we have a meeting with, uh, with Jeremy? I don't think he's going anywhere. I'd, I said I'd get back to him. He said, okay. Then yeah, I would love to just uh, entertain that thought. Want to wait until we find out a little bit more information as to why they had a Diablo Heavy and why that's such a big deal. Besides the fact that we almost died. Again. This time, not your fault. What? what huh? <laughs> what did I do? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're just. Like, yeah, I wow. mean, well, they didn't kill us because of you. I mean, they they wanted the gun. Uh, it was more so a joke that you weren't the reason we almost blew up this time. But <laughs> I've never tried to blow up any of you guys. I still <laughs> quite recall a giant explosion within <laughs> inches. But d me. but did you die? Like, You're talking I? to me now. I could have. That's Nobody why I said almost. I mean, the cancer could still be forming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> the Can't cancer argue that. could still be forming. <laughs> he says. I walk back down to the to the mech bay because I have nothing else I can say at this point. <laughs> I shout after him. Rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone. So, are you guys gonna after that? Are you guys gonna go down and uh, meet him? How many people are meeting with Jeremy and, and that kind of such? I was all thinking of you. That we all we all just go. Yeah, okay. we could all just. 
mm. All right. oh. mosey down. So it's pretty okay. simple. You take a shuttle. You fly down from the shuttle to the, the station. And um, there you uh, walk through the streets. You've been here before. You know how the streets work. There's um, lots of folks. Most of the people you see are women. Um, a few men here and there. Some And the people who are... Uh, you can tell the locals from the visitors, people who are wearing like overalls, coveralls, are tend, tend to be the, the covered in like soot and covered in like like grease. Those are the um, the locals who are mostly you know workers. Um, you go to the get to the uh, the location where you're, you you uh, had been told to go. It's a it's a nondescript office building. Uh, pretty pretty simple. Uh, it's it's just just getting dusk. As you guys arrive at the the office building, as you go, come down the um, the the shuttle, um, okay. you come you when you walk in, there's a robot there who who greets you. Um, let's see if I can do this properly. And you recognize it as a Stella model, who goes, "Welcome, crew of Great Topaz." Hi. We've been expecting you. Good. Please, step into the elevator. It will take you to your destination. Sure. It's quite Just remember, huh? all weapons must be must be deposited here before you go in. I don't have anything on me. Do you guys have no um, no weapons you brought with you? Or are you just oh. lying? <laughs> Definitely uh, just lying. He just I wouldn't have taken anything. <laughs> yeah. He always uh, has the knife on him. Okay. Roll me a bluff. Or roll me a uh, roll me a bluff check. Uh, roll me a um uh I guess it's a it's a talk check, was that would be it's uh it's a perform yeah, perform. Yep, you're good. The the Stella, you know, looks one is Go ahead. I'm doing one as well because I have a knife on me, but I'd never think about it as a weapon. Okay. Okay, yeah. The cell unit looks at both of you and the rest of you and goes... Excellent. Please, step into the elevator. Hop on in. Okay. You guys hop into the elevator. Doors close. Elevator goes up. After a few mo few moments, it opens up. It's a very harshly lit hallway. Um, like it's like bright fluorescence. You know, it's like super bright white. Um, kind of kind of thing. Like like, uh, and as you step out, uh, you see like it's it's a nice beige carpeting, and the the walls are are white with some um, some pictures that are just kind of generic. You know. Uh, uh, what I would call them, atmospheric pictures, you know, like like landscapes and cityscapes and daily life stuff. Very generic office building kind of kind of attire. And uh, as you step out, lights along the bottom of the walls start lighting up and seem to be leading in a, a specific direction, stopping in front of one door. Mm -hmm. They even wrote that to a compass for for us. Aaron just walks to the door, just knocks. Okay. As you step up to the door to knock, it just slides open. And huh. there, Convenient. you see, under bright light, not Jeremy, but a, a man with a mask, with a cape, with his boots kicked up on the desk, leaning back. He looks over at you and he says, Oh, we meet again. This time in a little bit more civilized context. Ah, Step tuxedo mask. I've been caught. Step in. 
We have much to discuss. <laughs> Darian just walks in, still kind of giggling under his breath. Okay. Um, as you as you step in, do the rest of you guys step in as well? Yep. Okay. You guys, as you guys step in, you'll see. You notice that besides the door are two uh, very rigid soldiers who have just who are just out of view, who are standing at attention. Um, and as you walk in, uh, Jeremy steps around uh, the corner, kind of looking at you, and goes, "Oh, welcome, Darian. I'm I'm sorry we I wasn't here to greet you. Um, this is the gentleman who actually hired us to look into this. It was a matter of our importance as well, but they were willing to pay." I nudge Darian by the power of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> So, now that our anonymous uh, proprietor is here, uh, you wanted to discuss the Diablo Heavy, and that's why you had us come here. I did. You see, <clears throat> the last time we met, you and your friends tried to throw a nuclear bomb at me. Oh yeah, no, uh, that, that definitely uh, happened. I was, I was there. Hold up a finger. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, 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 and wait. And I slowly wait. turned to look at Will's plus character, Thomas, <laughs> and I just pulled my arms for a second, and then put my hands on my hips and shake my head. I wouldn't say it was. It, it was definitely was not all of us. It was really just one individual who went rogue and had a very crazy <laughs> idea, and frankly, he has been reprimanded for it. Your your no need. There's no need to describe. You gotta remember. Ah! Thomas, rule number one: <laughs> no yeeting a nuclear reactor is a hand grenade. Thank you. I turn back to tuxedo mask. You may continue. <laughs> he kicks his boot boot up and he stands up. And as he stands up, he seems to like he seemed pretty imposing, but now he's like seven seven and a half feet tall. Oh yeah. He's seven, seven and a half feet tall, like, like, like body, like a, like a could crush rocks. This dude looks like ripped as hell when he steps up and he goes. My name is Count Gerzo. Oh, yeah, we, I remember that name. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry for attempting to shoot down your escape pod, you know, contract you and such. You you were doing a job. You were paid to do it. Yeah. I'm not here to, to, to disrupt that. You're mercenaries, and that is what your job is. I, that's what we do. I was afraid that you might not want to work with me after, the, after your last incident, so I asked for the Far Horizons Corporation to help. We see we have a similar situation here. The FMC is a threat to the Far Horizons Corporation, and to my father. This system is ours by right. Everyone knows this. We do not want to interrupt the Far Horizons Corporation business. That is not our business. But the strike fleet that showed up in that, out of that, asteroid belt, that is our business. If my father wishes to assault, he pauses. He pauses for a moment, then kind of thinks about it and goes. To liberate this system. He will desire not to have any unknown factors coming to play. That fleet is an unknown factor. So I ask you, what did you see at that asteroid base? Well, there was a, quite a few things we saw, and like I mentioned to Jeremy over our communications device, I said we saw, uh, what was the name again? I've, I've forgotten. Um, uh, Zakdu. Zakdu, that's what it was. I'll never remember that a day in my life. Um, and we saw whatever that was, and we saw the Diablo Heavy. 
and that was really there was a lot more details than that a lot of floaty stuff uh the zakdu were very angry one of them apparently was giant um kind of weird looking for the most part almost killed us um and yeah i don't know what more you're looking for aside from the fact that it was abandoned for the most part until we showed up it wasn't you you had no other other encounters. You fought this Diablo Heavy, you dealt with the Zakdu, you got into your ship and you left. I mean, that's just the gist of it. I mean, we almost died a couple of times. Um... All right. It was a shocking situation when we found it. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for, because to be completely honest with you, a lot of it was relevant to me. It was you didn't also... see any ships no vessels no fleets oh oh i forgot they exist yes they there was a ship that was actually tailing us the entire way to the to the place um and then on our way out it was there asking for the diablo heavy so we gave them the mech and just the mech It's blowed up, though. They ain't going to get that working for a while. Hmm. I hesitate to ask this, but do you gentlemen wish another job? You're not going to kill us? Why would I kill an asset? Uh, I don't think we're in position <sighs> to turn down contracts. I mean, they, uh, right? That's the whole point of being Tracer. Yeah, as long as it goes to the traces, I, I don't think I'm I, able to uh, not accept. Well, you see, this group, this FMC, seems to be all over the sector. And I do not like surprises, as much as my father does not like surprises. So, what I am asking you to do is to find and capture one of their leaders. You managed to kill one of my generals with me in front of you and still escape. I know you have the skills for this. I mean, we also took down a Diablo Heavy, so... Exactly my point. I'm just saying you're not giving us enough credit, but I'm... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I mean, I, I believe I landed both of those shots just <laughs> saying. Either way, I don't see why not. Steven is the one who has to sign off on this. If he gives the go-ahead, then... Uh, Tell me on. about this contract you wish to do. It's fairly simple. Let me take a second. I have to actually pull up the... <laughs> it's fairly simple, as I don't know with the location. Um, <laughs> I know I know the job. I just don't know the, the, the location. Magic. Uh, there we go. Uh... Suspense okay. is killing me. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> going back to the. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Plymos, the system of Plymos. There's a planet which has been under civil war, Palos, for many years. In its asteroid belt, a smuggling ring has operated for years. They're outside of any of the hegemony's controls. None of us really care. However, this smuggling ring may be a wing of the FMC. Recently, he pulls up his he pulls up a like just like pulls out a 
like a picture from like like it looks like he grabs it from beneath the desk and throws it up there up up, up there and you see this big holographic image of uh one person kind of in mid stride like slowly rotating but 3D image mm -hmm. it's a man um looks like he's in his uh late 40s early 50s uh kind of a scraggly gray beard um he's got a uh like a like a small uh, mohawk and he's in full like military fatigues, uh, with uh, with like a like a like a uh, plate, uh, like small like plate carrier on his on his chest. This man is Davian Rusos. Mister Rusos is the local leader of the FMC in this region. If you can capture him and bring him back to me, I will reward you with 100,000 credits. Oh. All I know about Mr. Rosas is his location in the system and that their operations are on the asteroid belt 102 Keeler. My information other than that is spotty at best. Okay, well, Captain. Yeah, I think this is it. Why not? Uh, is there any, uh, what if, uh, is there any partial reward for, uh, killing or bringing back body, or is it alive or nothing? I cannot interrogate a dead body. Unless you Agreed, have some, but, you know. some, some magic abilities that I have not heard of. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's dead or alive, so I figured I'd ask. I don't care who you kill. The only thing I care about is that he lives and comes back to me. Able to speak? Look at Thomas. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? Preemptive. I, I, you, I don't kill anybody. Yeah, but uh, I, who knows? I, Maybe no, you no, go no. cutting off tons or something. I... What? I... No! I'll, 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 I, I haven't even heard of you do anybody, ask, really. Maybe you do mouth next. I don't know. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. I will not go from stabbing a man to an, in his ass to the mouth. You just don't do that. Well, we have a rule about it now, so apparently, you know, sometimes you do. No! <laughs> I, I, I've been trying to keep people alive. Alright. Eh. Um, Thomas, give me a, um, give me a, uh, a notice roll. I think we've lost Jack. I don't know if he's mm -hmm. still here. Yeah, we're, yeah, he's, uh... off, he's offline. Ah, uh... we haven't, whoops. I can't believe it. He's dead. He's dead. Got a nine. A nine. Okay. So, um, you recognize that, uh, this person is something, someone you've actually seen before. Oh, shit. Okay. He's one you recognize. He looks kind of like an elder from the, from the followers of Gaia that you knew on, um, uh, on, um, what was the name of the planet? Uh, Anu. He's your father. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was going to ask him, who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm recognizing this job. Wait a... Wait a minute. How come you guys aren't in charge already? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, you said take back control. 
But the the followers of Guy have always been in control. Not of this area. What what does the followers of Guy have to do with with uh, with this man or with with Palamos? Because I know you. You. you what I'm saying is not him. You're, 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 I'm talking oh. about the guy, the the the, oh. the 3D spinning guy. Yeah, the dude who identifies the target. Wait, well, why are we taking? They're pacifists. They don't hurt nobody. These are the same people who just tried to kill you. No. The followers of Gaia are the FMC. Followers of Gaia are nice. They they don't hurt nobody. I know. <laughs> I used I've, to be one of them. You're saying that? Achoo! Sneeze. Um. Bless you. Bless you, I, my child. In the words of Gaia. <laughs> you're saying that this man is a member of the followers of Gaia. Yeah, I, I know the guy. Well, I I don't really know the guy. Know the guy. He he was friends with my with my parents. But yeah, he's he, he's one of the followers of Gaia. One of the the um, elders. That'd be really weird. You need to look they don't into do this. That. That's very unlikely. I, I, I do exactly. not know. Exactly, you got the wrong guy. Yep. He is he is the the one we're looking for. I can confirm that. Again, uh, what I'm looking for is one of the leaders of the FMC. If he is not a leader of the FMC, I need you to find out who is in this system. He is the best lead I have. I can call my folks and see if I can get his number. Do what you must. I have other business to attend to. Thank you, uh, Madam Jeremy. He kind of flourishes up with his cape and does a kind of a, a bow and stands up way. And then he uh, he kind of walks past you, pushes past you with his two and his two the two soldiers kind of turn and kind of go behind you as he walks out of the uh, the building. So we're still getting paid, right? Jimmy goes, oh, yeah, hold on. And then she kind of like pulls up her, her kind of like a tablet and kind of taps it a little bit and then throws it to you. And you all get the money that I promised you, which I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I think it was <laughs> one K million K credits. Yeah, it was 5K each. Well, that was so. for the original. Yeah, I think it's 5K each. Yeah. So. And I actually think he uh, paid you, the guy who, who you were at Trust Escort paid you before you even left. I think, uh,. He gave you all 10k, and then you guys got 5k from the um, from Jeremy. So sounds about right. I mean, I think we made it like bandits. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a break real quickly and see where Cyclone is. If we can't get Cyclone to come back, well, this will just we'll just kind of end this a little early. But uh, don't go anywhere. Take some time to uh, to to grab some 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 water or use the restroom. Uh, but we'll be back in about five minutes, everybody. Thank you so much for watching so far. Safe fishing. Safe fishing. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Guys, all right. So, but hold on. All right. So, Jack is apparently his cable's apparently out. He had a flood earlier, so I wouldn't be surprised as to that. That's that's probably has to do with it. So we'll uh, we're gonna call this uh, it for for today's session. A little bit of a short session, a little bit more role play stuff. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back next Saturday with the new adventures with them. Uh, them having to deal with uh, the new job from Count Gerzel and the Empire of Zeno. So it'll be interesting to see. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure you're following all these wonderful folks on their social medias and their uh, their, their own their own content creations. 
Uh, and like I say every time, hope to see you guys again soon. But if I don't, hope to see you someday in the black. Later, y'all. Bye. Bye, bye.